All right, hey, here's me here. I just got back from uh, my first DoorDash ride uh, on the Super Cup. Um, I made fifty dollars, by the way. I made fifty dollars, and uh, and I rode thirty-one miles. That's uh, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. It's not super good, but it's not super bad. Like I've I've had worse. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. I stayed out a lot longer than I thought I would. Um, I stayed out like three hours instead of two hours, so I was having a lot of fun, <laughs> and I knew I had a lot of gas, so. <laughs> Uh, so that's the nice thing. If you run slow on gas, you can just go to a gas station. That's the good thing. Um, yeah, you can't do that in the light B. Um, it's got a, a odometer. It's got two trip meters, so that's nice. You can keep track of your miles for DoorDash because you need to keep track of your miles for tax purposes. Um, you got to do a lot of shifting, okay? So. It's it's like constant shifting, 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 and you really need to use that first gear because it won't go in second gear, man. The, it's like the gearing is faced so wide, sort of, you know, sort of, kind of, is what I want to say. <laughs> um, but it's fun to ride, you know. It goes whoops around the corners pretty easily. It does, it does, you know. You can turn it, do U-turns and circles really, really easily. The, the the handlebars turn a whole lot. It doesn't have a whole lot of wind protection, so it's a good thing I wore my winter jacket tonight um what else the leg fairings they actually do work if you put your legs inward like this it, it, it feels odd riding it though but if you're if you're riding along and your legs are cold um i guess if you're a shorter person it would be it would be a better bike for you it's probably too small for me but if you tuck your knees in um and because there's a lot of open space in between right um you it, it'll it'll block the wind going to your legs so if your legs are cold i found that out because because i was like oh man my crotch is getting really cold like this because it kind of just scoops the air into your crotch so it just close your legs that's all you got to do okay and then but it, it, it doesn't feel natural riding it like that okay um the seat is fairly comfortable uh when you're sitting on it for a long time yeah you start to feel it a little bit but if you're doing deliveries you're just hopping on and off it all the time the center stand i don't like the center stand uh, I don't like only having a center stand, okay? One thing I did learn is that the center stand is good for parking on hills. Uh, if, you park, if you're parking on a hill, you just park pointing up it and then put it on the center stand. And it shouldn't roll back. So that's good. Uh, there's no parking brake, okay? I guess you can tie something around the brake or something if you want. Because um, it will roll down. You, and you, I don't think you can just leave it in gear because it just rolls all the time. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then that shifting from second to first is always challenging. You always gotta you gotta learn to rev it all the way. But I kind of figured it out tonight. The lights are pretty good. It, the beam is the beam is wide and narrow, you know. So, uh, it, but it's really bright. So it's almost like a spotlight sort of. But it works pretty good. I like it. Um, what else? Uh, the brakes are all right. Um, definitely, if you're going pretty fast, if you're going like 40 and you're trying to get stop really quick you should downshift <laughs> um the phone mount i installed worked great uh definitely it's there to stay and um yeah it worked great i, I just need to install the usb charger on it and then we should be good i didn't run out of charge by the way so i, I got like 30 percent charge left um what else yeah yeah it's not bad um it splitting lanes with it is really easy, but if you're gonna try to try to jet out in front of a, a group of cars, you really gotta flog it, man. Yeah, you just gotta flog it all the time, man. I think I'm gonna get a I'm gonna try to find some kind of quick turn throttle for it because it's I'm just like constantly wide open throttle all the time, dude. So yeah. And the first gear is almost useless is what I'm gonna say. The first gear is only there just to take off. That's it. Or anything else like it's like walking pace is what first gear is for. <laughs> so what I say, really slow. Um, but yeah, it was it was a whole lot of fun to ride. I like it. Uh, I think uh, I think it'll make a great delivery bike. So so that was the first dash with this with the Super Cub. So um, you'll see it on the Hades Omega DoorDash uh, shorts. Okay. So. Uh, I still got some more work to do on it. Um, we still got we got to clean up all these stickers. I'm gonna install the trunk on it, and, and some other stuff. So look forward to that. I'm gonna do just a couple modifications. Okay, I might try to find a quicker throttle for it too, because it just it just painfully slow. You just gotta open it up all the time, and I'm just 
you're just just doing this all the time, man. You get it's tiring. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, but it's pretty cool. You don't have to work the cl your left hand is free the whole time. It is really easy to ride this with one hand. That's for sure. And you can control it with your hips. I found out. You just kind of just move your hip a little bit, and the bike will lean over a little bit. <laughs> It's it's super easy to ride. I like it a whole lot. And, and the turning radiance is really good. The lighting the lighting is good on it. It's really modern. I like the smart key. The smart key is great for doing deliveries too. And I get comments on it. A lot of people say, "Hey, nice bike." <laughs> so I, I got a lot of nice a lot of nice comments on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So what else can I say? Yeah, the smart key feature is really nice. I like I like it. Uh, I never, I, yeah, the only time I, yeah, when I turn the bike off is when I go to the restaurants. And then, and then like, yeah, I don't have to put the key in the ignition or anything. I just, all I have to do is slap the ignition switch, turn it on, and then flip the starter and go. Uh, when I get to the customer's address to deliver, I just, uh, I just leave the bike on. That's what I do. And it's not very loud, too. You, it, you don't hear it so much, so. I kind of like that too. It's nice and quiet. It could use a little more horsepower, that's for sure, <laughs> or I just just a quicker throttle. I think it's got adequate horsepower, but yeah, you're constantly, constantly flogging it, man. So yeah, so I think it'll make a great delivery bike. So I made fifty dollars. I've got how much more left to go? Two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars left to go before I I, I pay it off. All right, <laughs> all right, here we go. Before the challenge ends.